All right, Gary gave me a CD. He says, somebody on our staff, somebody who works with us, I hope it's somebody everyone knows, was 16 years old, and his family brought him into a studio to record an album. <laughs> Do I have this right? Is that story right? I think it sounds like it was a boy band or a rap type band or Marky Mark. And it's somebody now on our staff. Yeah. Evidently, it didn't work out. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Yeah. <laughs> so great. I haven't heard it. It's a mystery record to us. All right, this is somebody who works with us. <laughs> oh, here's Baba Booey. Explain this. Uh, when this person was 16, they went into a studio, recorded an album. I understand that the family spent quite a bit of money. <laughs> I heard that they hired, like, the guitarist or somebody from Foreigner. Wow. Hello. And, uh, and recorded a bunch of tracks. <laughs> You'll be working with someone from Foreigner. Yeah. All right, here we go. Wow. <laughs> Coming at you. Is that him singing? Who is it, Isaac? No. All right. I would guess. I do. Is the guy wearing a dress when he recorded it? Should have been. But the guy has pride here. Oh, is it, who is it? Chauncey? Just let's get, let it get to it. Fred, do you know who it is? Is it, give me a clue, is it someone from the E-Staff? Because no. it can't be directly from this show. It's directly from this show. Yeah. Wow. I know, I know oh, who really? it is. I know, Benji? I know who it is. Already in Robin Howard. Is it Benji? Yeah. It's I not know Benji. who it is. I know who oh, wait a second. <laughs> Sal? Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. It sounds like Sal. I was saying, who in our staff is gay? I guess it's Sal. <laughs> Oh, That's right. Dude, Sal cried and Sal oh, made this record. Yeah. There's six tracks on there. He's huh? so <laughs> You fired him, okay? <laughs> I don't want to have blood on my hands. And I don't know too much about it, but I heard the family felt that they got ripped off. There was a dispute with the producer. Oh, yeah, and, what, do, what do you mean you got ripped off? What happened when you recorded this? How'd Nothing you get... happened? Yeah. I got my jacket on. I'm leaving. Who, uh, yeah, you're fired, by the way. What do you, you. What do you, uh, what do you mean? Your family was investing in you because they thought you had some talent? I was doing this garbage rap crap when I was 16 years old. So there was an article in the Penny Saver. Mm -hmm. You know, management company, this guy, One Hot Note Productions or whatever. Sally Sal and the Faggy Boys. Exactly. Ah. Right. So I sent him the tape. Yeah. And he calls me up immediately. This is the hottest thing I've ever heard in my life. Get down here now. How much did it cost you? $3,000. Ah, oh, I get down there. There's pictures of him with the fat boys, him uh, shaking hands with John Denver. He's smoking a cigar. It's like a cheesy rap video. Right. He's like, this is hot, but we got to re-record it. White guy or black guy? Spanish guy. Yeah, yeah. His first name was only Tito. I'll leave it at that. This right. is hot. So he goes, we got to get you into a studio now. I got a guy in Jersey. He's going to love this. So it's, it's 11.30 at night. I drive down to Jersey with my parents. The engineer pops in the tape, and he starts hitting his leg. He's like, oh, man, this is so hot, boy. Good beats, man. <laughs> we, we got a hit on our hands. So he goes, okay. He goes, we're going to get this guy. We're going to get that guy. I'm like, wow, I'm going to finally make it. <laughs> so he, he starts because... taking out a, a calculator. We're going to need this, production, keyboards, blah, 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 yeah. expenses. He goes, $7,500. And he tells it to your father? To me and my parents. And right. I'm like, you know, my father's a pizza man. You right. know, my father doesn't even have $75. Right. So we leave there, and I call Tito. I go, I can't afford this. He goes, well, you got to do it. If you want to be a star, you got to produce it properly. Right. I got another guy for you. Go to another guy. She's <laughs> got a live wire. Right. Yeah, yeah. this guy wants five I grand. I got Italian ice here. So I said, you know what, let me do my own <laughs> research. I go out to this place in Brentwood. This guy recorded De La Soul. He recorded a lot of big bands. He was mm -hmm. out in West Islip. What did he say? 750 bucks when I did my own research. Right. First of all, he was the only guy... When so how did it end up costing you 3500 Well, what happened was when he heard the tape, this guy, he didn't flinch. He was like, I could tell he was rolling his eyes. He right, was, this is horrible. Exactly. Right. So I go back to T and goes, I told you we have to record an album. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. 
He goes, you know, just get out of my office. I have the opportunity to look at these pictures. Look what I could do for you. You want to blow this and go record that garbage with him? Go. He goes, I got one more guy for you. <laughs> <laughs> go down to this place. This guy's selling me the world. This guy sold me so... Again, this engineer pops it in. Another referral. He's... His knees are going, everything that works. This is the best ever. This has got my knees going. But this guy really reeled me in. He goes, hey, uh, he goes, did Tito sign you yet? Mm. I go, no. He goes, don't sign with him yet because this is so hot. I got a few people at Polygram that'll love this. Oh, no. So this is the closer. The yeah. money comes flying out of his pocket now. I'm going to get the keyboard player. I'm going to get the keyboard player from Florida. <laughs> Al Petrelli, uh, Alice Cooper's uh, guitarist. Wow. They all came in, all the wash-ups. So <laughs> he goes, it'll cost you three grand. Oh. Now I'm 16, I'm going to get my first car. So I only have $1,500 saved for a car. I go home, I go, I talk to my mom and dad. They oh. co-sign a loan. Oh. So instead of getting a car, oh. I spent three grand on the, the gayest song ever in the history of America. <laughs> Uh, so close. <laughs> Whatever dignity I had left from the tanning cream is now gone. So then after you finish the recording session, they hand you this. So uh, they hand me this, and uh, it was hard. Like where all the musicians go, man, you're great. Every time. I remember I'm hanging out with this, the, the keyboard player for, and he's playing away, and I was, like, so impressed by him. And one day I came in there with my uh, girlfriend. I go, hey, Al, can you play a little bit of something there? And he just looked at me like like he wanted to cut my throat. You right, know? Right. Like they treated me like complete garbage. Once I paid them, right. complete garbage. <laughs> so, <laughs> Good. This is a good lesson for you. Every, yeah, well, it was. Believe yeah, me. So, you never recorded again. <laughs> so I finally record the whole thing. I get the dat, which uh, Richard Christie got hold of. That's how this all happened, thanks to this patrol. <laughs> oh. So After I, all the ragging he did on me about my music, I figure this yeah, is only, so, uh, only fair. I give, Tito, God, yeah. I give Tito the final product. Here it is. Here comes the big record deal everything so i bring it to him he goes hey listen he goes in order for me to shop this i need about a hundred cassettes i need a hundred eight by tens i need a bio i need you know, he goes what am i going to do with this right uh, it was totally different now right right different guy what happened to this hot record right so i go out i call tape duplicating places i spent another six hundred dollars on tapes <laughs> wow <laughs> I bring him 600 copies of this floating around. <laughs> no wonder he was able to get a hold of it. I should yeah. donate it to the next gay parade. But. Yeah. So I get the tapes. It takes me like two weeks to put these awful tapes together. I bring him down to Tito's office. The whole bag. I drag it in as a bag. He's like, okay, leave it by my desk. I'm on this, Sal. This is going to be great. Blah, right. blah, blah. Two weeks, three weeks, four. Nothing. I call Tito. Not in. He's busy. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Finally, I get him on the phone like three months later. Yeah. He goes, hey, where the hell are my tapes? <laughs> oh. I go, Tito, I dropped off the effing tapes three months ago. No, you didn't. Exactly. He goes, what? I didn't get anything. Listen to me. If you're playing games with me, I can't deal with this crap. I got this. I got that. Blah, blah. I go, Tito, I gave you the tapes. Oh. He goes, uh, you know, was your he, father freaking out? Oh, everybody was. They, they you know what? Get out of here. My father would be, you know. If I if I didn't if I didn't take out the garbage, my father would be the first guy to kick me down the stairs. Right. This is the only time he actually took sympathy on me. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a second. You, so you spent all that money and you don't even have the tapes. I no. Right. I those those were, the, Tito has them. right. And Tito. He goes, yeah. He said he, he, he never got them. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> then, maybe now he'll start promoting. Is Tito it. still in that office? Do you call him every once in a while? Every once in a while, I think I got to get this son of a bitch back. You know, because <laughs> uh, it was just what absolute. What year is this, Sal? I was 16 years old, uh, quite some time ago, and then it was just terrible. The whole thing. Is guess, uh, guess hey. what his name was too. What? <laughs> You're a dick. G man. Uh. <laughs> the G stands for garbage. <laughs> gangsta man. Hey, gangsta man. G man. G man. G man. G -man. Good for you, sir. Between the singing black and the tanning cream, it seems like you want to be dark. <laughs> Dance. Do it. Come on. I don't dance. Come on. I don't dance. dance. It's Italian ice. Do you got to dance. Yeah, I don't Italian break ice. dance. <laughs> Come on, Marky Mark. <laughs> did you have a whole thing with it? You did. You lied. Yeah, time. I did. I was a break dance. We were in a, a group called the Circuit Breakers. Let me breakers. see you do it. Do it some lip sync. Circuit Come on. Breakers. Come on. Get up there and do your act. Let me see what you do. Go ahead. Let me see. Oh, uh. Maybe you'll be discovered, man. Here we go. Here. Put the headphones on by Gary so you can dance. Yeah. This goes along with how he throws a ball. You gotta see Sal throw a football. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here. 
Break. You got to lip sync while you do it, too. No. Right, come on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, you're good. I'll sign you. You give me 500,000. Do something with You give me 500,000, I'm going to pass you tape on a Harvey Lee. make a rough Wow, look at this. You're good. That's a train wreck. All right, oh Sal, good for you. Goodness. All right, that's a, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, beware if somebody tells you you're going to be a big star and then ask you for three grand. And his name's Tito. Hmm. Well, if he told with the seven grand, he wouldn't be here right now. Are you, like, racist at all? Like, were you like, oh, no, not only did you get duped, but it wasn't even a white guy to dupe me?